We have set up our shop. We've built our room for the CNC machine. We set up our CNC machine. We built our ventilation system. We made sure our CNC machine is in good workable condition. And then we ran our tests. We're good to go. Now, let's do some design work and get something to cut. The first thing we're going to do is go into our CAD program. And then we're going to pull up a couple of clip arts. And then you go into File, Import, go to the clip art that you've already decided on. You have to have a clip art file with something on it. That you, and in this case, I'm bringing up two different clip arts. These are both African scenes. One it has elephants in it and one has giraffes in it. I've already made my decision of how I want to put them together and make this into one scene. I do this quite a bit when I'm working with uh, both of those were individual and now they are one. I double click, you see all the nodes there. We're going to work with some nodes and if you look at this right here you'll notice that it's just a straight line. It has no character to it. It doesn't look, it looks like it was attached and we don't want that. So what you do is you're going to go in, go to basic cut. I'm doing climbing and roll then lead in and out click create lead in arc point one now you see a double line this is your kerf width the inside line is your cut out the outside line is your cut path the space in the center is the steel that will be removed then click on show tool paths now only one line is showing Now you are ready to save it as a file. I had a fellow uh, email me and he was asking me about scanning. So this is going to be an illustration of how you can scan something, put it into CAD, uh, make a bitmap file, make it into a DXF file and then cut it out. So what I've done is I went to Michael's. I do this a lot. I went to Michael's and I bought some things that you could do with crafts or something and I took this leaf. Now I, you've seen my copper leaf spray. This is an oak leaf. The other one was a, a maple leaf. But I'm going to take this oak leaf and then scan it and show you how to get rid of all the junk that's inside of it here. After the image is scanned, it will open in the CAD as a photo. Go to the fourth tool down on the left and click on the Zoom Tools. The image will now fill the screen. Go up to the Transform and click with your left mouse button. With it selected, you're going to go over to the third one up, third icon up, and it's called Scan Tools. If you click on that and go to the next one it, uh, icon, it says AccuScan. Click on AccuScan and a menu will open up the way the leaf is. You can do whatever you want to in CAD. But now we're going to say, okay, this is what I want. And I'm going to go into CAM program. I'm going to make this into a DXF file now. I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to go to Arrange. And I'm going to connect path at point one zero zero. Okay, I do that just to make sure that you can see that double line. This in the middle here is the space that the kerf, that's the kerf width, the depth of kerf. And that means that you have these two lines that are cuttable lines. If you leave it like that and you program it into your CNC machine. We just made a simple leaf and we scanned it, made it into a DXF file and it's ready to cut. Now, a lot of people will tell you that now we have a saw blade here. And you can see it's kind of broken up. Now this is where the artist will come in because you're gonna to have to clean this up if you wanna use this. We're going to go to the scan tool, AccuScan, and then scan, and then I have to go in here and work on all this. 
All right, let's try another technique. This is what I'm talking about, about you being an artist. If you get rid of these, right click, put it in the trash. Every profession and trade has its tricks. So I just showed you how you can take a um, saw blade and scan it and make it into something that you can work with in your metal art. This is, that was a lot of work. And I told you that if, in order to be an artist and work hard with it, you could, could correct all that. I'll show you an easier way. And I want to show you how you can raise this up, make it as big as you want. Remember, this is a 47 inch square. There's a great big saw blade. If you notice that saw blade is really cutting the wrong way. So now we have two, two different pieces in here. We have a horse and we have a saw blade. So we're going to take the saw blade. Now, that's the way the saw blade should be cutting. So now we've got a horse inside of this saw blade and we're gonna do something with this horse. First of all, it's just standing in air. We're gonna keep going through until we get it the way we want it. Let's take a look at this again. Now, what we're gonna do is once you get several places opened up here, and you will see in the finished cut of how it looks when it's done. And all I did was cut these all up. Now I'm gonna go down here and I'm going to arrange and you will see that this is going to cut first the saw blade, second the horse. We're going to, and then you're gonna put okay. Now it switched that. So now it's gonna cut this all out and then it's gonna cut this out. and would we'll put okay and right there's 45 leaves that's how fast that is now you take it out put it on your flash drive take it out and cut them out nest it in there have everything mirrored around and placed into the order so there you have it now it's been all nested together and you have this much material left this is what it's like in array where you can actually group them together organize everything it doesn't matter if it's all on here or not that's what badges and array is like when i use them i use maybe one one piece of art that i want multiple pieces of and i'll just go ahead and use badges and i drop them in and then i'll nest them and cut them out but if i was going to use say 10 of one five of another 15 of another so here's what i did I got a, a picture of a human ear, and then I put it into my scan, and I put it into uh, the CAD program. If you can't find the clip art that you want, make it. And when you make it, clean it up. Make it look the way it should look. Don't just AccuScan it and then drop it in and cut it, because it's not going to be right. There's going to be a lot of flaws in it. But this is when the artist comes out. So what I'm going to show you now is take this out. I go to edit, clear. And this is what I have left is my line drawing. But the first thing you want to do, if you notice, if you click on that, you've got all these different layers here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all and then arrange it into a make path arrange it into a path now I have all of these now the point I was bringing out that it was such a mess is if you look at this look at all that stuff I have to remove all that and then turn it into a bitmap file always save it as a bitmap file or it won't come up in CAD so that is another way of getting a treble clef this is what it's going to look like when you're ready to get it cut, take it out to the shop. And it takes quite a while to cut it out, but in the long run, it's very worthwhile.
when I start my finishing, what I need, first of all, you need a, a good pair of gloves. You need something to protect your ears. Now, something that's very important, if you're going to grind, don't buy a cheap angle grinder. It's very important. I started off with one, and I was using, I was changing it so often, I actually have four out here right now. Four angle grinders that I'm using. This is what we're going to do now. I'm going to to show some instructions on how I grind, prepare metal, I paint. Be productive and always leave something behind that is that says that you have created something that wasn't there before that's when you're an artist